Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Love Cakes by Lydia. Today I am making Princess Sophia the first cake. I started with cocking the cake into layers. So please stay tuned with me and if you have come here for the first time, thank you for joining us and I wish to welcome all my old subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you and my new subscribers. If you are watching me for the first time, thank you for being around. Please do me a favor to touch that subscription red button beneath under at the right side subscribe to my channel like my videos share thank you support my channel um i just added a um, buttercream my normal buttercream swiss meringue buttercream and i'm going to assemble the cakes then i continue with the rest of the decorations so please thanks for coming around i, ap I appreciate you all so guys, my membership is on too. You can join my membership. Press the membership button. You can join um, anyone you like. It's just to support my channel. Thank you so much. And I also have a super thanks there. If you like my video, you want to appreciate my video, you can also give me a super thanks. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. So let's dive in into the video. Now I am trimming the cake. I'm done with the trimming so I'm going ahead with crumb coating the cake. Now I'm crumb coating the cake um, with a chocolate, chocolate ganache. Yeah, a lot of people used to ask me what uh, what's the brown thing that I'm putting on the cake. It's a chocolate ganache. I made this one with a dark chocolate. I used 300 grams of dark chocolate and 100 grams of milk. I made it with milk, not um, heavy cream, just milk. I'm scraping up the excess ganache to smoothen up the cake. have to continue to scrape off to get a smooth and perfect shape. After removing the excess ganache, I'm going to cover this cake using a paneling method. This method is usually used to cover a, a tall cake or a double barrel cake which is cake that is so tall or oh. It's also good for someone that is new to fondant because sometimes fondant could give you a lot of headache. But with this method, anybody can handle it. But it's just that it's, it takes a little, for me, it takes a little bit longer. And uh, after covering it, you will see some lines on it. But this paneling method is, is more safer and it looks good too.
so this is how we panel it and um, this is where you get the line you have to place this here to get a straight cut so that the line will be straight This is the line that I'm talking about. You will see all those small, small lines where you cut off the excess fondant. But with the other method, you will not see anything. And um, with the other method, it's, it's more easier, it's more faster for me. I have to, um, I have to remove some air bubbles. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm punching it and removing some air bubbles from the cake. Then I'm using this embosser to form a quilt like shape on the cake. And I'm later I will use my um I will use my tool to stretch out the line very well. So now I'm I'm bringing out the the, the the prints very well with the tools. I'll draw the line to make it come out more better. And after I will cut off the excess fondant on top, smoothing off the top. So guys, this is what it looks like so far. And um, now I am spraying on the cake. Another question people ask me a lot is what do I normally spray on my cake to make it shiny and this is it. I, I miss um, uh, some luster dogs with edible spirits. I use clear vodka. I mix it with luster dogs and spray on my cake to give it this shine. You can use any color of the luster dust. With my tweezer, I am placing some tiny um, pearl, silver pearl beads on the cake. With this mold, I will form a crown. I'm missing these two colors to get a um, golden base because I will, I will paint this crown gold after molding it. So here is the crown. It has a little bit gold base that w so that when I paint it, the color will, will come out pretty well. Here I'm done painting the crown gold. So if you look at it, you'll see that the, the gold came out well. Right here, I am placing the Princess Sophia, the first image on the cake, and the little tiny decorations, the butterflies, etc. So 
so guys if you have watched to those points thank you so 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 much i really appreciate your time please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment on the um, comment section After pressing on the details, I'm going to wear the tutu on the cake. This cake has skirt too. It has skirt. So I'm going to put on the skirt. This is called tutu. I made this thing by myself. I'm still going to bring up the video how I made this skirt. How I made this tutu. So after tying up the skirt, the tutu, um, I will wrap up everything. Finally, I'm placing the crown. Look at the crown that I made earlier. It looks beautiful. I'll place the crown and fix the edge of the baby girl of the princess. And voila, that is it. So guys, I am coming to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed staying with me. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Thank you so much for staying with me. Thank you for always coming by to watch my video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining my membership. Thank you for your super thanks in advance. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Catch you in my next video. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.